To configure Okta SAML authentication and SKIM provisioning on your Zscaler tenant, log in to your Zscaler tenant with your administrator credentials. Select Administration, Authentication Settings, Identity Providers, and then Add IDP. This will launch the Identity Provider installation wizard. Name the IDP and set the status to Enabled. For the SAML portal URL and IDP SAML certificate, we will need to get the URL and the certificate from the Okta portal we will be integrating with. Log in to your Okta portal as an administrator and then select Applications. Select Browse App Catalog and search for Zscaler. For Zscaler Internet Access integration, select and add Zscaler 2.0. This will install the app and launch the configuration screen. Enter your Zscaler cloud domain and click Next. Under Sign-on options, select SAML 2.0. For the Member of SAML attribute, select Matches Regex from the drop-down menu, then enter star dot to match all Member of groups. Then select View Setup Instructions. Scroll down to Step 3 and copy the SAML portal URL and back on the Zscaler portal, paste it into the SAML portal URL field. In the Login Name Attribute field, enter Name ID with the N, I, and D capitalized. Back on the Okta portal, download and save the certificate in Step 3 as a .pem file. Switching back to the Zscaler portal, we are now ready to finish our SAML configuration. Select and upload the Okta.pem file we downloaded from Okta. For Vendor, select Okta. And under the Authentication Domains, select the domain that is appended to the username, and then save and activate your configuration. To configure SKIM, we need to go back to the IDP we just created. Select the blue pencil to edit the configuration, scroll down to Provisioning Options, and Enable SKIM Provisioning. This will display the base URL and the bearer token. Copy the tenant identifier, which is the two numbers in the middle of the URL, and back on the Okta portal, save the SAML configuration, and select the Provisioning tab, and then Configure API Integration. Select Enable API Integration, and then paste the tenant identifier in the Zscaler ID field. Copy the Bearer token from the Zscaler tenant into the Okta tenant API token field. We must save the Zscaler configuration and enable SAML under the authentication profile before we can successfully test the API credentials. Select the authentication profile, and then under authentication type, select SAML. Save and activate the configuration. Back on the Okta tenant, verify the API credentials by selecting Test API Credentials, and then save the SKIM configuration. Select Edit in the Provisioning to Apps section, enable the three provisioning actions, and save the configuration. Select the Assignments tab and add the groups containing the users for ZIA that will be provisioned to Okta. Then select Done. Finally, select the Push Groups tab and select the same groups to push to Okta. This will complete our Okta configuration for SAML and SKIM. Save the configuration. To verify our configuration is successful from the ZIA Admin Console, select Administration, then User Management, and verify our users have been synchronized. Then select the Groups tab and verify our groups have also been synchronized. One final configuration step for ZPA entitlement. From the ZIA tenant, select Policy and Zscaler Client Connector Portal under Mobile. This will launch the mobile portal. On the mobile portal, select Administration and then Zscaler Service Entitlement on the left. On the Zscaler Private Access tab, for Groups Enabled, select our ZIA group that contains our users that will be entitled for ZPA.